In our previous video, we have learned how to refer a secret from an existing key vault service. As you can see here, in the parameters.json file, we have hard coded multiple items right from subscription ID, resource group name, as well as key vault service name. Today, we are going to learn a new technique wherein we don't hard code all this using a function called gets secret. Let's understand how to implement that. Let me copy this. Let me rename. For keywords for secrets using get secret option. Let me directly navigate to Azure SQL database. So here we are using the password. And now we need to remove this because the value is coming from parameters.json wherein we have hard coded multiple items. So in order to refer an existing secret, we need to first refer the existing key vault resource. Let's understand how to implement that in bicep. Bicep allows us to refer existing resources as well. In this case, we would like to refer key vault resource. So provide something. You don't need to provide the key vault as is. You can provide anything. Maybe you can provide key vault one or something similar to this. Now, here, after you provide the namespace, press space. So far, we were using this equal to. Now we should use this existing because our goal is to refer an existing resource. Choose equal to and then choose required properties. Here we need to provide the name of the existing key vault resource. Let me grab the Key vault resource name. Maybe I will type az bicep hyphen dev hyphen east us hyphen key vault one. This is the name of the key vault resource. Now, in order to refer secret, we need to use a symbolic name dot. You can see there is a function called get secret. Let me choose this. Now this get secret function accepts two parameters. The first one is the secret name and the second one is secret version which is optional. Let me key in the secret name here SQL admin password. This is the secret name. Though I have provided the appropriate details, still Visual Studio Code complains that there is a syntactical error. Let me hover on this. The error message says the function get secret is not valid at this location. It can only be used when directly assigning to a module parameter with a secure decorator. That means in the internal modules, in the internal bicep files, we cannot use get secret function. So let's revert the changes back to what it was earlier. So I'm going to copy and paste the parameter so that it goes back to the previous version. And this code should not be here. So I'll do a control X and navigate to the main dot bicep file and paste it here. Now, I can directly use this here while passing the 
parameters. Key wall dot get secret, and I'm going to pass the name of the secret. Stereo admin password. Here I am not getting any errors. It just gives me a warning. I can ignore this warning. So let's save this. Let's also save this file. So I did not make any changes. So now let's execute the program. Let's now run the program. I would like to copy the command from here. I'm going to upload all these files into my GitHub account so that you guys can also refer the same. Let me paste the command and hit enter. It is giving some warnings. We can ignore them. I'll fix those warnings and I'll upload the latest files to the GitHub account. All right, it took a while. Now the deployment is successful. Let's now navigate to the key vault and view the secret. As you can see here, the value of the secret is test at the rate one, two, three, four, five, six. Let me copy this. And let's navigate to the database and let me paste the secret. Now, if I click on OK, it should take me to query editor where I can run some queries. That's how we can refer to existing secrets from an existing key vault resource using get secret function. In my personal opinion, this is the best practice to refer the secrets from an existing resource instead of hard coding the subscription ID, resource group name, and other stuff in parameters file. That's it for today. Thank you. If you have any feedback, feel free to write your feedback in the comment section. Thank you.